It will go down in history as one of the most memorable drives the Iron Bowl has ever seen, and it might be the most important seven minutes the Crimson Tide played all year. That may have been one of the greatest drives that I've ever been associated with um, in the fourth quarter uh, to win the game. And um, I, I just can't say enough about how proud I am of our team. Trailing 21 to 20 with 8.27 left in the ball game, the Alabama offense took the field with the ball on its own 21 yard line. Auburn had outplayed the Crimson Tide for much of the game and there was little to indicate the Tide had what it would take to go down the field and win. The Tigers were moments away from ending the Tide's perfect season in hopes for a national title. This is such a huge rivalry game and a huge game for us because really if you lose this, you know, everything that you worked so hard for is over. As quarterback Greg McElroy gathered the offense around him, his teammates knew exactly what was at stake. We got in the huddle and we said this is for everything. You know, you know, it's, it's win or die, so this is for everything. We knew that this this is, this is when we make our mark. This is when we have that statement game. Alabama came out with a mix of runs and passes. Trent Richardson for seven on the ground. McElroy to Mark Ingram for nine. Sophomore wide receiver Julio Jones, quiet for most of the game, picked up two huge third down conversions, which kept the drive and Bama's season alive. Despite the rising tension in the stadium, the only thing the Tide players felt was rising confidence. You could really sense in the huddle that we knew we were going to drive this down the field and we were going to score. Alabama crossed midfield, dinking and dunking wherever Auburn's defense gave them room. A seven-yard Julio Jones catch put the Tide in field goal range, but Nick Saban wasn't playing for a field goal. Two plays later, Trent Richardson ripped off the drive's biggest gain, 17 yards on a pass out of the flat, putting Alabama on the Auburn 11-yard line. Two more Richardson runs, and Alabama had the ball on the four-yard line. It was third down with a minute 29 left in the game. Auburn called timeout, and as play was about to resume, Alabama did too. Nick Saban changed the play. I really didn't want to just uh, play for a field goal. Um, I guess I tried to talk him into throwing a pass, and um, then when we got out there and lined up, I wanted to throw a pass. Saban wanted to pass, but the formation screamed run. Run-stopping defensive lineman Terrence Mount Cody lined up left as a blocking back. Little U's senior Roy Upchurch was the fullback, with Richardson lined up behind him. When McElroy took the ball from center, Upchurch chipped a defender at the line, got a free release, and broke toward the end zone. McElroy faked a handoff to Richardson before hitting Upchurch with the game-winning score. I felt like if we got in a goal line formation and made him think we were going to run, you know, that's sometimes that's when you get the best coverage, the easiest coverage to throw because they're all coming to get the run, and that's exactly what happened. Upchurch said during the final timeout he was yelling for coaches to put him into the game. He wasn't sure if anyone heard him, but even though he played sparingly this season, the coaches had faith in him, and he scored what might be the biggest touchdown of the year. I had that feeling that, you know, I'd be wide open in the end zone, and, and I won't say, you know, I was going to say I, we won our, the Iron Bowl, but, uh, you know, I just had a feeling that I would be open and that play would work. In one seven-minute span, the Tide showed it had the stuff champions are made of, and quarterback Greg McElroy silenced the critics who said he couldn't win a game when it mattered. It was just a sense of, all right, let's do it. It's time. It's crunch time, and, you know, best players step up when players need to be plays are needed to be made and uh, everyone was able to do that. If Alabama goes on to win national championship number 13, the team will be able to look back to Iron Bowl 2009 in the pivotal moment when they went from good to great. It all happened in a 7-minute stretch that will forever be known simply as the drive.